One, two, three, four. Welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today we are going to be expanding our skills as rhythm guitar players as I introduce to you the chords and strumming patterns to the Grateful Dead classic Uncle John's Band. Before we get there though, I want to introduce to you a great new product from my friends over at Click. This is called the Uber Tuner. What I like best about this tuner is it's super bright, very large, and easy to read display. It's also extremely accurate. So I definitely recommend it for that reason, but most of all, one of the best things about it is that it's extremely durable. Uh, the problem with a lot of these tuners is that the second they hit the ground, they seem to fall apart. This one definitely has a durable and heavy duty uh, clip, um, and it doesn't look like there's anything on here that is going to snap off or become brittle. So I'm gonna put the information for the Uber tuner uh, in the description. You guys can follow the link to Amazon and pick up your own. Uh, definitely a great deal, great bargain for an excellent tuner. Okay, a close look at the guitar and also my right hand for the strumming patterns. We're getting started with our intro section, uh, beginning with a slow demonstration. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was the G major chord. Hold out uh, that out for 16 beats um, with one strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Now that's two measures, so we gotta do it one more time. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Then we're gonna cut that pattern up over uh, the G major chord, a B minor, which is sometimes uh, switched out for D major, a C major chord, and then D. So we have G, B minor, C, D in that intro, but with the strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Okay, let's take a deeper look at that strumming pattern. One of the things I do to add a little bit of flavor is throw in some percussive elements, namely the percussive hit. Covering up the strings of my palm and striking through with my pick on the now muted strings. I'm gonna demonstrate that same pattern but with some percussive elements. Okay, so it was on the second beat that I threw in my first little uh, percussive hit, so it was one, two, and three is the beginning of the Sherman pattern now. 
one, two, and three, and four, and. So that's the first four beats. Down, chuck up, down, chuck up. Real slow now. Down, chuck up, down, chuck up. One, two, and three, and four, and. Moving into the second measure now, we're gonna go chuck up, chuck up, down, down, up. If you combine those two measures together, we have down, chuck up, down, chuck up, chuck up, chuck up, down, down, up. Real slow. Down, chuck up, down, chuck up, chuck up, chuck up, down, down, up. This is going to take some practice and a whole lot of patience to get down. Okay, let's see what it sounds like when we put all those elements together now. Here we go with the G major chord. Down, chuck up, down, chuck up, chuck up, chuck up, down, down, up. Again. Just like that. Okay, if you have your intro section down, you're ready to move into the verse, which I've divided up into three subsections for easier learning. Getting started with the first part, the chords we're going to be needing, a G major chord, a C major, an A minor, an E minor, and also a D major chord. These are all very common, easy chords. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate how it's going to sound. We have the G major chord starting off. So that was the A section of our verse. We have the G major chord with our same strumming pattern that we had in the intro. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. When we get to the C major chord, we're going to play down, down, up, up, and then move to the G major chord and play down, 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 up, down, up. Now the thing that might throw you off here is that not every single chord has the same amount of beats. So over that G major chord, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But on the C chord, we have one, two, three, and then back to the G chord on one, two, three, four. So we're going from four, four time to three, four time. Let's give that another shot. So just counting single note strums, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four with that strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Now make sure that when you get to that last G major chord, you're gonna put a lot of emphasis on the down, down. So it's on the one and two, beats one, two. One, two, three, and four, and. You could even choke up a little bit with your G major chord grip. Shorten that first strum so it's staccato. Okay, moving into the B section of the verse, this part is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Think this through with me. Let me know your mind. Okay, so that was an A minor to E minor to C major to D major. Over the A minor record, we're utilizing a pop strumming pattern. That's down, down, up, up, down, up. However, you can chuck on the two and the four. Very common. So down, chuck up, up, chuck up. Then over the E minor chord, we're going to go very dynamic. Down, up, down, 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 up. We're going to do the same thing over the chords C major and D. Okay, let's put that B section together now at a slow tempo with our A minor chord gripped. One, two, three, four. With the lyrics, one, two, three, four. Think Let me know your mind. 
if you have that down, you're ready to move on to the C section. Okay, moving into the final section of our verse. This part, we're gonna be utilizing a C major chord, a D major chord, and also a G chord. So simple chords, but the strumming pattern is where the challenge is going to be. So I'm gonna start off by demonstrating real slow with the vocal. One, two, three, four. Whoa, oh, what I want to know is are you kind? Okay, so we had a C major chord to a D chord. Strumming, down, down, up, up, down, up. Pop strumming pattern, but over two chords split up. Down, down, up. There I just threw in instinctively my percussive hit on that two beat. One, two, and three, and four, and. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we go to a G major chord, down, down. And then we're going to go D, C, up, up, down, up. So this is all just pop strumming patterns, but we're chopping it up across all these different chords, which can be a little bit tricky. So, so far we have the C major chord, down, down, D chord, up, up, down, up. G chord, down, down. D, C, up, up, down, up. Then it's gonna simplify just a bit going G, D, G with the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up. And then when you get back to the G, that same tag, momentous. Down, 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 up, down, up. Making sure to staccato that first G. Down, 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 up, down, up. You put it all together, we have the C major. Chord. G D C, then simpler, and then G major. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, let's do that whole thing in time. One, two, three, four. Okay, moving into our bridge section, we're going to be using the chords G major. C major, A minor, E minor, and D major. First, a quick demonstration. One, two, three, four. God damn, I declare, have you seen the light? Their walls were built from cannonballs. Their motto is don't tread on. Okay, with the count, we'll be uh, counting out one, two, three, four, and one, and on the second beat, a walk up, second fret of the A string, and then C major, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and. Now, moving on to the A minor, E minor, and D change, we'll be strumming A minor, down, down, up, E minor, down, down, up. And then on the D chord, that same tag that's been repeated throughout the song, down, up, down, 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 up. Now it's gonna be that second downstroke that we have a little short staccato strum. So down, up, down, and then back to long. Down, down, up. Okay, let's take a look at the second part of this bridge. Now this is gonna feature some off-time strums, and you may find it difficult to perform the guitar part while singing. The trick is seeing where those strums line up with the lyrics. All right, just the guitar part is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we had a C major chord, and we're strumming. Down, up, up, down. Staccato strums, a little rest there at the end of that measure. Again, down, up, up, down. So far we have. Then, on the G major chord, still just getting this by feel, we're gonna strum down, up, chuck. On the D major chord, up, down, up, chuck. On the C major, up, down, up, chuck. Same thing there. And then on the D chord, up, down, up. Okay, let's see if we can get that same thing down, but this time we're gonna try to count it out as we go. So over the C major chord, we'll have two measures there, and we're gonna be counting. One, two, three, four. One and two and three. And four, one and two and three and four. Then over the G, D, C, D progression, we're gonna be counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So 
so it's pretty consistent. That percussive hit, that chuck, comes in on the second and fourth beats the same way that a snare drum would. Okay, let's see if we can put the whole thing together now. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. Okay, if you have your intro, your verse, and your bridge section complete, you're ready to move on to your chorus. Here we're gonna be borrowing some strumming patterns from the verse and then also from the bridge section. Same chords, G major, C major, a minor, E minor, and D major make up this section. I'll get you started with a quick demonstration featuring the lyrics. One, two, three, four. Come here, Uncle John's bed by the riverside. Got some things to talk about here beside the rising tide. Okay, let's take a close look at each of those strumming patterns going from the G major chord to the C major. This is going to be eight beats, but they're chopping it up again in kind of a funny way. Six beats on the G, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two beats on C major, one, two. Then we're on A minor to E minor for one measure. One, two, three, four, and a solid measure on D major. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be the first half. Okay, so over the G major chord, we're gonna strum. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Then on the C major chord, we'll go down, down, up. You put the two together, we have. Then on the A minor chord, we have down, down, up. On the E minor chord, down, down, up. And on the D major chord, the same tag that we've been using throughout the song, down, up, down, down. Let's see if we can put all that together. Okay, let's take a look at the second half of this chorus. It's gonna feature a C major chord with the same exact strumming pattern that we had in our bridge. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Except I'm gonna throw in an extra upstroke like this. Down, up, up, down. Up, down, up, up, down. Then I'm gonna put the same strumming pattern that we had at the end of our bridge over G, D, C, D in place. So down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up. Okay, we're ready to go over the last section we haven't hit up yet. This is the jam section, or you can call this the breakdown. It comes out of a chorus, and we're gonna try to change up our rhythm just a little bit in a way that emulates the first strumming pattern that we had in the tune. So in that last chorus, we'll sing, uh, He's come to take his children home. And notice how I shortened up my C major there. And that is gonna set us up to switch to a D minor chord into our jam section, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. So something along those lines, you'll have to listen to it a lot to get the feel because it's crazy off time and they're switching back and forth. Uh, some people have written that it's uh, going from 4-4 to 3-4, sounds like 7-4 to me, uh, just changing time signatures like crazy, but we can get it pretty darn close. We're going to have a D minor chord and we're going to strum down, down, up. Then we're going to go to a G major chord and go up, down. So far we have down, down, up, up, down. It's so very off time, right? One, two, three. That's exactly where that down up stroke is gonna come after the D minor chord. So one, two, down, up, up, down on the G major chord. Then we're on the C major chord, we're going down, up, and then back to the D minor. Now notice how there's kind of like an up stroke in between C major and D minor, so. Okay, and you can 
say that that's part of the D minor chord, and that's gonna get us back to that one beat count in, uh, in seven. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And over top of that really cool chord progression, uh, we have this great lick. Now that's me taking my uh, open D string, plucking it, letting it ring as I slide from the first and second fret of the G string like this. First to second. That's followed by an open G string to the D string third fret. That's followed by the open D string again. Then the open A, third fret A, second fret D, and then the open D string. We're gonna go through that, I think it's eight times, but then we're gonna open our first finger up on the D minor chord and play a D sus. And we're gonna arpeggiate that chord, hitting the D string, and then with hybrid picking, using my fingers, I'm going E string, B string, G string. After doing that a few times, we're gonna strum through the D chord, and then they sing, Whoa, oh, what I want to know. And that's on the C major chord. How does the song go? That's gonna be followed by an a cappella version of the chorus, uh, which takes us to the close of the song. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Uncle John's Band. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to my friends over at Click for sending out this great tuner, the Uber tuner, I highly recommend it. Um, I'll be producing another video in the coming days on the guitar licks and solo associated with Uncle John's band, so definitely check back for that. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and please share. I am Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.